everybody, welcome to Fall Food Friday. So this is our second year doing the Fall Food Friday series. I'm very excited about it. More excited this year because it is an open collab. Anybody who wants to can participate and I hope that you will. So every Friday throughout the month of October, we will be sharing a fall inspired recipe. It can be anything, a drink, a dessert, a dinner idea, whatever you want it to be. So if you wanna participate, all you have to do is upload your video on Friday and then come to my video and comment in the comments letting me know that you uploaded your video and then I will go and add it to the playlist. And if you missed this first one, don't worry, you don't have to do every Friday. You can just do one, two, three, or all four, whatever you want to do and I'll have the playlist for the fall food Friday videos in my description box throughout the entire month of October not just on the Fridays I'm gonna have it there throughout the entire month for anybody who wants to go and check out all these videos so this week I'm making a sweet treat this can be for breakfast dessert or if you just need a sweet treat throughout the middle of the day all right y'all so we're gonna be making pumpkin pie sticky buns oh my goodness these things are great let's go ahead and get started so the first thing we're going to need is a bowl and in this bowl we're going to put a fourth of a cup of warm water not too hot not too cool just warm and we're going to put in one packet of the active dry yeast so if y'all remember my roll recipe videos you're making these pretty much almost the same way as we make those yeast rolls but of course different because we're adding in pumpkin things and all of that anyway let's just continue <laughs> We're just gonna mix the yeast and the warm water a little bit with a fork and then we're gonna sit that bowl over to the side and bring in another bowl. So in this bowl, we're putting in a one and one fourths of a cup of warm milk. Once again, not too hot, not too cool, just right. Like baby bear, just right. Anyway, here we go. Now we're putting in a fourth of a cup of sugar, one egg at room temperature, one teaspoon of salt and a fourth of a cup of melted butter so now we're just gonna mix this together just until you know the egg is nice and mixed in and everything's mixed together well and then we're gonna start adding in our flour this is all-purpose flour we're gonna put in two cups and at this point we're still using the beater attachments on the mixer here in a minute we'll switch to the bread hooks but for now we're just still using the beater so we're just gonna mix all that together then we're gonna go ahead and add in our water and yeast mixture and then we're going to go ahead and mix that into with the mixer mine was vibrating my camera so i kind of shortened that clip a little bit but anyway we just mixed that all together now we're going to take off the beater attachments and put on the bread hooks if you don't have the bread hook attachments you can totally do this by hand um, i mean your hands and arms will get tired but it can be done i have made the yeast rolls and things before by hand so First of all, we're gonna start off by putting in a half a cup of more flour. Um, we're gonna end up using a total of like three and one fourths of a cup of flour, but we're just adding in a little at a time. So we're gonna mix that up there. And when we get that all mixed in, I'm going ahead and adding in the other um, half, a little more than a half a cup there. We're gonna mix that in. We're wanting to get it to where it's making a dough and where the dough is starting to form like into a ball and stick together. Just like when we make the yeast rolls if you haven't seen that yeast roll video by the way i'll pop up a card for it and link it down below also they are delicious so good i can't even stand it all right so when it's starting to get ready it of course gets very hard to mix it and that's pretty much how i know that it's ready when it's so hard for me to to mix it anymore so we're just going to scrape off what's left on the hooks there then i'm just going to take a little bit of flour and put on top of it and put some on my hand so that it doesn't stick to my hand so much when i start pulling it from the bowl so now i'm just you know scraping it off the sides of the bowl and kind of um you know working with it and shaping it um into the ball 
so when I get finished doing that, then I'm going to go ahead and get my other bowl back out. I've washed it and dried it out now. So we're going to take some cooking spray and spray all inside of that. That way, when we put our dough in here, while it's rising, it's not going to stick to the sides of the bowl really bad. So now we're going to bring back our dough and just get it out and put it into that bowl. All right, and then we're just going to cover it and let it rise for about three hours. All right, so when the three hours is almost up, I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing the filling for the sticky buns. So we're gonna have like a nice pumpkin pie type filling in here. The first thing we need is a fourth of a cup of brown sugar, then a fourth of a cup of regular sugar, and then we need a teaspoon of cinnamon, one fourth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and one eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves and one teaspoon of all-purpose flour. Then we need four tablespoons of butter. And then we need some pumpkin. So of course I'm using a great value pumpkin and we're putting in about half a cup. We're also gonna put in half a cup of sweetened condensed milk and one egg. And then we're just gonna whisk this all together and we're gonna cook it over medium high heat until all the butter is melted and it starts to bubble up a little bit. All right, so when it starts to bubble, then we're gonna turn the heat all the way down to low. We're not gonna take it off the heat yet. We're just gonna turn it all the way down to low until it starts to get thicker. So here it is now. This was probably about five to eight minutes later. It was getting really thick, so we went ahead and took it off the heat. While that is cooling, we're gonna go ahead and get our sticky syrup mixture ready. So we need six tablespoons of butter, one cup of light brown sugar, and then we need half a cup of syrup. You can use maple syrup or golden syrup, whichever one you prefer. So we're gonna get that all mixed together and then we're gonna cook it over medium heat until it comes to a bowl. All right, so when it comes to a bowl, we're gonna go ahead and remove it from the heat and then we're gonna put in two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Y'all, this stuff right here, I'm not even joking, was delicious. So good, so we're just stirring that up there. This tasted like a homemade caramel, almost, it almost tasted like, you know, the filling inside of a pecan pie? That is how it tasted. It was so good. So I sprayed my nine by 13 inch um, baking dish here. I'm getting excited about this syrup. And we pour the syrup all in the bottom of the baking dish. So we're gonna set that over to the side now and we're gonna bring over our dough. First of all, I got my cutting board out and I'm putting some flour on it and then we're gonna take our dough out of the bowl. As you can see, it pretty much doubled in size during those three hours. So we're just gonna punch it down a little bit and get it out of the bowl. And see how when we sprayed it with the cooking spray, it did not stick to the bowl at all, which was great. All right, so now we're just gonna punch it down and flatten it out really good so that we can spread our mixture on there and make these beautiful sticky buns. All right, so when we get it rolled out nice and flat, we're gonna put our pumpkin mixture on top of it and just spread it all around, making sure to get all the way to the edges. That way that yummy pumpkin mixture is all throughout the sticky buns. Now here comes the fun part, rolling it up. So this part, you just have to go kind of slow and just take your time rolling it up into the little roll. I don't know what else to say. We're just rolling it up.
All right, so when we got it rolled up, I went ahead and cut mine in half so I could put it onto the cutting board to cut the slices. So I went ahead and kind of pre-measured uh, with my knife there where I needed to cut it, and then I started cutting it. So the recipe said that this would make 12 um, pumpkin pie sticky buns. But as you will see here in a little bit, these babies grow enormously and I going back now wish that I would have like made them smaller but anyway too late for that they were still delicious just humongous you'll see here in a little bit so once we get them all cut we're going to put them into our pan our baking dish with our syrup mixture and like I said I made 12 because that's what the recipe said to do so I'm putting them all in here now and you have to do this kind of quickly because they start sliding around in that syrup but there they are now I'm just shaping them a little bit and then we're going to bring them over and sit them to the side cover them again with a towel and let them rise for about 30 more minutes so I let mine rise for 30 minutes the recipe said 45 but at 30 minutes this is what mine were looking like and I was like I'm putting these babies in the oven so I put them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes and they were ready so I took them out here's how they looked like I said they were enormous but delicious just really really big so i love how the little pumpkin is swirled inside there it just looks so pretty and y'all they were really really good really good so now is the time we're going to flip them out onto the cutting board once again they were so big uh, my cutting board wasn't really big enough so some of the syrup does start leaking out here in a minute but um, you flip them over and this is how you serve them upside down so that all the sticky syrupy goodness is on the top so they weren't really hard to come out of the pan I just had to jiggle it a little bit there and they came right out and they were amazing the whole house smelled delicious so I just took one of my little green spurtles there and I'm just spreading my syrup where it was kind of um, like you know stuck in the middle there I'm spreading it out over onto the sides of the sticky buns so that all the sides have some of that yumminess Jonah comes over here and uh, he wants to take a little taste test of the syrup he approved <laughs> so here they are just beautiful and they were very very good y'all this really reminded me of something you would get from like a fancy bakery I mean hey I mean I know mine don't look fancy they're not that pretty but the taste of them tasted like something that would come from a really nice bakery they were very very good Bakery couldn't do it better. That's right. That's my boy. That's my boy right there. Sissy ate every bit of hers. Was it yummy? How is it, preacher man? Is it good? How you like it, Jake? You like it? He had a big one too. He almost ate off his. So if the kids give it a thumbs up, it's a winner. All right, so when the kids got finished eating theirs, I went ahead and cut the rest of them in half because, like I said, they were huge. So I just went ahead and cut them in half and then put them on my little cake plate so that whenever anybody wanted one for dessert, they would be ready to just grab and eat. All right, y'all, that's it for this video. The kids absolutely loved the sticky buns. Like I said, the only thing I would do differently is make them smaller. Like how, where I made 12, I think this really would make 24, you know, normal sized cinnamon roll type sticky bun things. Anyway, these things are huge. <laughs> So it just depends on how you like them. If you like for them to be, you know, really big, then these work out great. But I would probably, you know, make them half the size next time. This is definitely a very sweet treat. So I can't wait for Titus to get home and try them so he can tell me what he thinks of them. I already know he's probably going to say they're a little too sweet for him. He, he doesn't like extremely sweet things. And these are very sweet. You've been warned. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you to everybody who is participating in the collab. I cannot wait to see what you have come up with. Next week, make sure you come back. I'm going to be making a fall dinner. I'm really excited about that one. And I'm also excited to see what y'all make next week. So thank y'all so much for watching and we will see y'all tomorrow.